Berklee College of Music. You went to Berklee? Yeah. Oh, so I so okay, I love yeah. jazz and funk. Because funk. Funk. for bass, man, you gotta you gotta play funk, man, and jazz. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys will see tonight. Okay. I'm oh. very excited. Man. I love when bass players are around my size. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you can hear this. Watch this. Like, you can hear it. Like, cool. And they're like, fuck yeah. I'm like, thank you. There's people in the crowd. They don't fly. Like, oh, they don't fucking. This is my five string version of my signature bass, right? Neck is, uh, what is this? Ebony. Ebony fingerboard. And um, that's my, my, you know, my signature in there in the middle on a 12 fret. Yeah, the, the blood splatter. Bingham, Mary, I guess you'd call her. Yeah, I love this one. So, everybody else seems to love it too, so, you know, Mark was thinking about next year's model, so. Oh. Yeah, looks awesome. Yeah. Looks like a crime scene. Yeah. It's like a Tarantino movie. Yeah, pretty much. Please carry it to the camera. You can show it. Ah, okay, yes, please show it. There you go. Like a good shot. Big shot. Wonderful. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Got another one. Well, here, I'll show you the standard one here. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is the basic signature model. Oh, mm -hmm. Only come in one color. You know, made me this wish I'd ask for more colors. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I got a lot of black V's now. Mm. Um, but it's awesome with the. World's only red EMGs, you know. EMG. So, less fall scale, you know, a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. It's easier on the old hands. Mm -hmm. Super slinky. <laughs> What's up? I'm Dan Donegan, guitar player for Disturbed. I, uh, I've been with Schechter for almost a couple years now, but I'm. Um, this is the model that they built for me. It actually was a uh, Schecter Ultra series uh, guitar that they had the body style made and uh, I just pretty much fell in love with the, the guitar, the weight, the size. And it just uh, seemed to fit me right, you know, so uh, I didn't want to go through the process of trying to um, you know, start over with something new because I already found something I liked right, right off the bat. So they yeah. sent this out to me and I just basically was playing it between album cycles when we were writing for the last album for Asylum. Mm -hmm. I had them at home and I just started playing these and I realized that I kind of put my other guitars in the closet and start playing these all the time. And uh, well, it's a great group. It's, uh, it's an old school uh, uh, d and and it plays really good. And I, I put the old school legacy uh, school on it and then um, that's about it. I mean, it's a great guitar. It's not, it's not about it's not about like me or him. It's got my label on it, but the guitar is killer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your, your uh, you know, it's got a, a lot. Of, you know, it's funny because a lot of people um, I've given a lot of guitars to friends that are in the in the industry, and. Um, they're like, oh, thank you, know, Eric, you know, this is cool. And they ended up using it on their records. And, like, one person in particular, uh, Jeff Bork from uh, Music Rumors, he's got, like, you know, Fenders, Les Pauls, Flying Bees, Gibsons, and uh, he has my guitar.